Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Gina Signatures and this is Gina, your girl, saying how you doing? Thanks to my subscribers, the people that are about to subscribe and the people that have already subscribed. Thank you all. So today I'm going to be making this beautiful dress with a fringe at the slit and buff sleeve. Hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to stay tuned. Let's get it started. Thank you. So I have... I'm going to be concentrating mostly on the lower part of this skirt. I have a skirt tutorial on my channel. So if you don't know how to make a skirt, please, you can just go and check it out. So I've already cut out the front and the back. So the main emphasis in this tutorial is on that part where the fringe is, as you saw it on the thumbnail. So that is what I'm going to do. But my client told me to make that part a little bit open because from the thumbnail is a little bit um, uh, tinier than the one I'm going to make. She says she wants her flesh exposed. But from the thumbnail, you can see that that one is not really exposed like that. So depending on your choice, if you want it not to be exposed like that, that is on the thumbnail, you can just... Uh, slant it a little bit you want to make the slant wide but for this tutorial it's going to be exactly as it is on the thumbnail except for the fact that the slant the open place where we place the fringe is a little bit open because that is what my client requested so right about now i've already gotten the that so i'm going to roll down that line straight to the hem of the skirt to ascertain where I want the slit to get to. So depending on where you want your slit to start from, you can take that. But from this tutorial, I placed my uh, measuring tape and I measured down 19 inches because my client is tall. She's very tall. Even this gown is still short for her, but it's okay. So right about now, I've ruled that out. So I'm going to be using my hip curve to draw that slant line. If you don't have a hip curve, you can freehand it if your hand is perfect. So that is what, so you can make it as wide as you want it. But I'm just going to try to adjust it a little bit so that it won't be too wide. So that when she sits, she'll not be exposing all her, you know. <laughs> So, I am placing it on both sides like so. I didn't know that the camera was not capturing the lower part of the uh, fabric. Pardon me for that. So, I'm trying to shift the uh, hip curve as in where that place is curvy. But that's the curvy thing that I really need. So, I'm going to come back to this side and place it again so that you see. So that will get that curvy part very well. Because that's the essence of using it anyways. Yeah. So. That is it. That's how it is. So I'm going to cut it out like so. Well, for some people, they may have different ways of achieving this. But for me, this is how I achieved it. And it came out beautiful. And my client loved it. So. I believe if you try it out for yourself too, it will come out beautiful the way you want it. So that is me cutting it out. Don't worry about the chalk. You can just use one of your clothes because I'm marking it on the right side, right side of the cloth. You can just use a, a, a piece of cloth to just rub it and the chalk will not be visible again. So I'm trying to adjust the curvy part so that it will come out beautiful. So I'm going to go right ahead off camera to cut out the lining for this. I'm going to be using a full lining. And I'm not going to be doing inseam finishing, no. I'm going to be doing the normal finishing. Later I can use either my bias or my weaving machine or serger as we call it to weave it and give it the perfect print finishing. So I'm going to cut out my lining then depending on the inches you used for your whatever you can deduct it before you turn it with the lining so that the lining will go in 
it will not be showing on the other side so for the upper part of this dress i already have that on my channel too that's why i didn't bother showing you how to go about it it is a princess that bustier the only difference here is the neckline because it's a v neckline so that is why i didn't bother to show the tutorial for that so if you want to see how it's done you can just head to my channel and watch how to make a princess that bustier so this is the lower part after turning it with the lining it's beautiful i've not even ironed it here because i was just trying to rush because before my baby wake up so i was just in a rush so this is how i turned it out that's how the, well, i've done that and i've turned it out with the lining because that kind of a place you need to turn it out with lining so that it will look beautiful so these are the back pieces i've gone ahead to turn it out with the lining i turned the zipper area it's only the sides that i didn't uh, turn i left it like that intentionally so those are the two back sides i'm gonna head to turn it so what am i what i'm going to do now is to head over to the sewing machine and fix my zipper maybe one of these days i'm going to show our beginners how to fix zips yeah i'll try okay yeah so that is my zipper i'm just trying to open it up so that you see when fixing your zipper make sure that those two half lengths at the back are lines not that one will be up and one will be down no and make sure your darts are kissing each other <laughs> they will kiss me so that is it yeah So the next thing we are going to be doing is that we are going to be joining the front bodies to the back bodies through the shoulder. So there are different ways in achieving this neat shoulder M of a pin. So you can either flip over one side of the lining to the other side, holding in place the fabric like so, as in flip it over, then you run half inch across it like this. Well, this may be challenging for beginners, so I'm going to show you another way that may be easier for you to go about it. Very easy, and it will still come out the same way. Yeah. Just take the tool, yeah. You place it like that. I see they're kissing. Face to face, as in front. Uh, <laughs> sorry. The face of the fabrics facing each other. That the right side facing each other. The lining will be on one side and the fabric on one side. You hold it like so and run half an inch it will still come out the same way so i think this should be easy for beginners here yeah. because the other one looks like a little bit complicated but that should be easy for you so i'm going to head to my machine and do it and i'll come back to show you yeah so this is how it came out it will just sit perfect all the seams will not be visible because you've hidden it with that sewing so that part i'm going to trim it off when i'm fixing my sleeve so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to arrange the front and the back appropriately very well make sure that the half lengths are well arranged you place it very well you place it very well half length the lines are kissing each other yeah why do i like this word kissing okay they are kissing each other very well then you pin them and then you take your measurements that's what we call closing you close it and then I'm, what that's what i'm going to do and i will be back to show you how it looks so after closing it and all this is how it came out to be i've closed it and this is how it looks so the only thing left for us now to do is to fix our fringe at that part it's very easy it's just that i didn't want the fringe to show on top of the clothes so i didn't sew it on top i sew it under the clothes so that it will only be the fringe that will show the only thing that showed again may be the um the sewing that will just show a little bit but when I give it a good press, everything will lay flat and it will be neat. 
Mm, I think I'm really not showing you well. Yes, I'm going to start it from the other side as and show you like an example of how I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to place it like so. Place it like that. Then like this. It will go like this. Like this. Like this. And then come back like this. Then you take it to the other side and then on that to the back of the clothes. And voila. That is how it should be. So I'm going to take it to my machine and I'll be back to show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've sewn it and this is how it came out. It's beautiful. This is how it came out. Yeah. Just take it easy when you're doing it. You don't need to rush because we're not in rush yet. Yeah. So I'm going to wear it on my mannequin and show you how it looks. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Please always leave a comment. I noticed that some people will just like and say, please just leave a comment to encourage me. I beg of you. I need encouraging words. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. So let me add over to my mannequin and the blades. Even though the size is not my client size, I just managed to wait on it. So let's see how it looks. Yeah, so this is how it looks. Yeah, please. Thank you. See you next.